I'm gonna ask Jenny to be my girlfriend. That's great. I'm really happy for you. I don't know. I can't help but feeling like she's settling. Isn't there someone else better than me that we can set her up with? I'm not comfortable talking about this right now. Why not? Because she's holding your hand. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. This Lauren chick is starting to get really annoying. She keeps expecting me to do all this shit. It's because you got her pregnant. You have to do the right thing. Well, how do I know what the right thing is? Probably just do whatever she says. Okay. So, uh, pregnant sex. I'm not comfortable talking about this. Why not? Because she's holding your hand. I'm alone. I'm sorry, what? I couldn't hear you over the canoodling. Looking at old photos of Sarah. Can I get some privacy, please? I never bothered you when you were looking at old photos of Carol. Who told you I did that? I'm looking at old photos of Carol now! I always thought I was being more discreet. Anyway, what's wrong? I've just been thinking a lot about Sarah lately, and I think I'd like to see her one more time. Well, what's your game plan? She still has a lot of my old stuff. I, I thought I'd email her and ask for it back. Oh, even better, you should make a note of it on your Facebook page, like, Thomas still waiting on Sarah to return his stuff. That way everyone will see it on the feed. That'll get her attention. What are you doing? What? Like, I can't pack up all his DVDs, his clothes, his three computers, and Jenga without getting hassled about it? That's my Terminator 2 DVD. Come on now, Titch. Sarah? You're not gonna cry again, are you? What do you mean? Last time we saw each other, you cried. You ended our four-year relationship. I know, but let's try to be professional about this, okay? It's my stuff? That's your stuff. Where's my copy of Garden State? I thought we split that. We said we were going to, but I ended up paying for it. Still, we were supposed to split it. But we didn't. I paid for it. <sighs> I still think half of this is mine. So how's Lose It to me? You mean Kevin? How's Kevin? We broke up. Really? But, but your MySpace profile says in a relationship. How often do you check my MySpace profile? Rod prints it out for me every day. <sighs> There's a grace period, you know? You can't just break up with someone and then suddenly change your status. That's what you did with me. You were different. What did you see in that guy anyway? He made me laugh. He's funny. He does a really great Borat impression. Wow. I'm here to get my stuff back. Wow, wow, we were. What took you so long? Well, goodbye, sir. Wait. I think I made a mistake. With what? Our breakup. But you wrote a blog called I Probably Never Loved Tom. I was hurt. But you broke up with me. That doesn't mean you didn't hurt me. Please come back inside.
I got back together with Sarah. <laughs> oh! Are you okay? No, I'm not. That's crazy. Could you hand me a paper towel? I did not see that coming. Oh. Ooh, what about this guy? What about him? Do you think Jenny would like him? What are you guys talking about? Henry doesn't think he's good enough for Jenny, so he's trying to set her up with someone else. Oh, that is so sweet. That guy is definitely a lot better than you. So are a lot of these guys. Sarah said I'm not good enough for Jenny. You said it first. Well, yeah, but I'm supposed to be hard on myself, Tom, and then you're supposed to make me feel better, and then Rod's supposed to call me gay. Gay? See? Where'd you come from? All over? I'm an army brat, bitch. Do you actually mind holding that? My back hurts. <laughs> hey, Screech, where's Zack and Slater? Does Sarah still like me and Rod? I think so. Why does it matter? Well, shouldn't our girlfriends like our friends? I mean, Carol liked you, she even liked Rod. She liked my sex. You didn't have sex with my ex-girlfriend. Then why is there a picture of it? You photoshopped that six months ago, and then you felt bad and photoshopped a picture of you and me being friends. So Tom, that. Look, my point is, is that I just don't understand what happened to Sarah. Why is she so mean all of a sudden? Just shut up, Henry. Now you've done it. You cannot heal my broken heart in spite of everything you say. The feeling of emptiness remains alone. You say it's you. Are you ever gonna take those down? Tom, I can't just erase an entire year of my life. Well, where are the pictures of me? I threw those out. Can you be more aggressive when we make out, or is this the best you can do? Come with me if you want to live. It's okay, Mom. It's you now. It's okay. What's going on? We're confronting you. Why? Well, last night whilst arguing over the ownership of the T2 DVD, we realized what's wrong with Sarah. See, when you go out with someone for long enough, you start to absorb their qualities, much like the T-1000 absorbs what he touches. Sarah's been going out with Uzzah to me for so long that she's starting to absorb some of his douchiness. That's why she... No. Is that her? Yes. Now please just turn Terminator 2 off. Look, Tom, I know that things have been hard for you lately, but going back out with Sarah is not the answer! What's going on? Nothing. You absorb Lose It to Me's douchiness. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it just means that you're not the same Sarah that we once knew. And who is the Sarah you once knew, Henry? Well, in college you encouraged me to be more confident with Carol. You encouraged Rod to stop referring to Emily as a certain name. What, fuck buddy? And start referring to her by another name. My sort of girlfriend vagina. You stopped being nice to us. And more importantly, you stopped being nice to Tom. I am nice to Tom now. She is. Tom, don't you understand? You're in danger. You're going to absorb Sarah's absorption of lucid to me's negative qualities. It's a pretty complex cyberdyne absorption process. We need you to be Tom. Not lucid to Tom. Not lucid to Tom. Not lucid to Tom. Can we get out of here? I'm so sick of your immature friends. My friends? You dated a guy who alternated his MySpace default photo between a picture of his car and a picture of a tiger. Kevin was more of a man than you'll ever be. Now where are we gonna go for lunch? How are you, Sarah? Pretty good. Why are you holding me so tight? Oh, Jenny, what are you two doing here? We're helping Rod move. You're moving? Why? I mean, you told me to do whatever Lauren says. We have to save money for when Ben Affleck arrives. 
You've threatened to leave so many times, it's hard to believe this time it's for real. Is this gonna get serious? I mean, it could. I'm gonna be upstairs. You work it out. Oh, wait, Jenny? Will you marry me? <laughs> um, don't you think it's a little soon? To... Okay, could I bargain you down to girlfriend then? Oh, that's your move. Bargaining me down. Did it work? Settling, are you? <laughs> I always thought you were. <laughs> hey, hey, go get your bills for free. I really appreciate you doing this. What's with everyone getting all serious? First Tom and Bitch Boy, and now you. Well, you're a good guy, Dennis. What? What? My name's Rod. Why did I call you? Never mind. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you thinking about Sarah? Yeah. You were right. I needed to dump her. But when we broke up the first time, that was really devastating. I mean, I never really got over it. I mean, I don't know if I ever will. I'm not over Carol. Even though you have Jenny now? Sure. How do you deal with that? Oh, well, I just think that Someone maybe totally destroyed Jenny once and that she's not over that either. It's not a pleasant thought. None of it is. But really, I, I don't think that it's the relationships that define us. I think that it's the breakups. Maybe not, though. I mean, maybe it's not the relationships or the breakups that define us. Maybe it's what we do in between the relationships. You know, and if that's the case, I'm okay with being single right now. I look forward to what the future holds. What are you guys talking about? Everything we've been through this year? Gay. You know, normally you'd call us gay immediately, but this time you asked us what we were doing first and then called us gay. You're growing up, Rod. Probably because of the pregnant vagina. So, do you have anything to contribute to this conversation? Huh? When you look back at this, what are you going to take from the experience? Squirrel.